Good for you. We lived. Woo. Lee and I just came back from Branson. And yippee-ki-yay, what a good time that was. I wish you all could have been there. I'm going to tell you the sweet, to, to tell you what the heart and the soul of Branson is like, as our plane pulled away from the, whatever it is. The, the, going out onto the runway. Going out on the runway. First off, the building that you walk into to get on and off the plane looks like a Cracker Barrel. It does. It's Very just cute. down home cute. And so we board the plane after being in Branson for five days, and the pilot said, look out the window to your left. And lined up were all the employees in bright yellow jackets. It said Branson on it. And they're all waving goodbye to us. <laughs> and the whole pl and then the pilot says, y'all come back, you hear? And the whole plane went, Oh, <laughs> he was. Then, then we pulled into Atlanta, and I said, "I bet we're not getting that here." Yeah. Had, everybody <laughs> said it was Trans Air or Air Tran or whatever we flew. I Air said, Tran. "I don't think so." I we didn't get a wave when we left Atlanta to mm -hmm. go to Branson, mm -hmm. but it was very sweet. And I will say, Branson probably has the kindest, sweetest people in the whole wide world. And you had said that when you were there this summer. Yes, indeed. May I point out, however, it was 30 degrees and rain. It was hard to tell that it was pretty. You can't have everything. Yes. Well, I wanted it. everything. I wanted it all. Nope. I wanted nope. a beautiful fall weekend. Well, Leaves turning. You didn't get it, but you got a whole bunch of really nice people on a trip with you. Nice. We had 300 quackers. Perfection. Perfection. They were so sweet and so kind. Mm -hmm. We're going to start running little videos of our trip to Branson. We won't inundate you with all of them. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of them. <laughs> but Tiago and Tony went with us from here and they took pictures and videos and we're going to put it on the website so if you weren't one of the lucky 300 you'll get to see what we did. We had a marvelous Quacker weekend. It was. And also, I wouldn't want to rattle your core, your jeans, but in the jeans. <laughs> yes, I've actually written another one. Gasp, I know, I know you're all freaking out, but in there I, I, I talk a little bit more about our trip to Branson and, and do a little recap, so if you want to go in there and check it out, I'd be pleased. And we'll start, everybody, and Lee put this in her article, everybody did dress up, and we're going to show you a lot of our staff and how they looked. Adorable. 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 Everyone did a great job. because The boys in their jammies, that was the best. And even Tiago and Tony came in their jammies. Tiago had Playboy jammies on. <laughs> and we had a wedding, and she didn't talk about that in the jeans, and the wedding was marvelous. And I think what made it extra special, great, this is a couple that got engaged in our last cruise. And they asked if they could get married on this gathering. And what made it so special is all the love mm -hmm. of the Quackers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think the overwhelming comment that I've gotten in email since it's all over is thank you for putting us all together again. It's been three years since we cruised. Mm -hmm. And they were so glad to see each other and to hug and to, to renew friendships. Mm -hmm. I was too. I was. Plus, I met a, a bunch of new good yep. friends this time around. So. But it was surprise. I think over half have been on all the trips with us. Mm -hmm. The other half were brand new. Um, so we renewed friendships, and we, we just had the best time. Yep. Um, I think this is November, you know. <laughs> and where in the heck has the year gone? I just thought I'd throw that in. And when is it going to cool off down here? I bet you all know, don't want to hear that up north, but... It's beautiful today. It's hot. It's hot, hot. She's in her flashing mode. You've listened to me flash for 20 years. Now you're going to hear my daughter in the flash <laughs> mode. It's beautiful out. In fact, it was darn nippy getting in the pool. Oh, it was not. It was 80 degrees in my pool. Wimp. Wimp. Cold, 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 cold. <laughs> I got it up to 96 now. You know, I'm exercising with Attila the Hun. So we will go into more of that on the website also. But it's November, and it's time to be grateful. And I think Lee and I both 
will tell you from the bottom of our hearts that we are so grateful that all of you are quackers. Mm -hmm. You make our life worth living every day, That's and true. we love you for it. So we hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Find something every day to be grateful for. We all like to moan and bitch and kvetch, but find one thing every day to be grateful for, and it will make life so much more pleasant. Have a happy... Bye-bye.